Good morning, everybody. This is your market update for December 16th. Uh, so I'll get right to it. We've had a pretty good run in the stock market here up until recently as a result of some positive inflation numbers um, that have come out over the course of the last you know, week or so showing that inf inflation does in fact appear to be cooling. Uh, unfortunately, that momentum has shifted due to the uh, statements made from the Federal Reserve at the culmination of their meeting this week, uh, basically, you know, continuing their aggressive stance on inflation moving forward and being actually a bit more aggressive than what the market had anticipated. As a result, yesterday, the stock market, the Dow closed down over 700 points, S&P 500, NASDAQ not having stellar days as well. Uh, that negative momentum is carried over into today. Um, the stock market initially, the Dow opened down 200 points, currently down about 392 points. S&P 500 NASDAQ down as well. Um, Mortgage-backed securities obviously didn't like the aggressive stance uh, from the Fed continuing, but have, have not reacted near as negatively as what the stock market has. Um, Mortgage-backed securities yesterday did teeter-totter back and forth between positive and negative, but ultimately ended the day up eight basis points. Um, started today down 20 basis points. At one point in time, we're down over 40 basis points, currently off their worst levels of the day, down only 19 basis points as of a few moments ago. Um, I think ultimately, the, you know, the market's still worried that the aggressive stance from the Federal Reserve moving forward um, is going to potentially throw the economy into a recession. Um, and retail sales numbers that just came out, I think yesterday showed um, there were poor retail retail sales numbers, which especially headed into the holiday is, uh, you know, is, is never a good thing because that's one of the, the periods of time during the year where retail sales are typically strong. Um, so it does show, in fact, that, you know, the, the consumer is, is not spending near as much. Um, and, and that's one of the major reasons why the stock market, um, you know, I believe it did, has not had a great day the last couple of days. Um, next week is full of financial data. We've got housing data. We've got the Federal Reserve's favorite key inflation report, which is the PCE, the Personal Consumer, Consumer Expenditures Report. We also got initial jobless claims um, and also the quarter three GDP report. Uh, as well. So uh, lots of information that could be market movers next week. It would be nice if they were, uh, you know, that PCE report that comes out, the inflation report um, could kind of counterbalance the Fed statement and could impact the Fed's decisions moving forward um, at their next meetings, uh, you know, and what they decide to do uh, as it corresponds to further rate hikes. I think the market is pretty much priced in at the next uh, time that the Federal Reserve is going to hike, which would be February, um, that the market's anticipating another 25 basis points hike. Uh, so we'll wait and see if the inflation numbers continue to come in favorable, showing inflation continues to cool. That would, in fact, you know, potentially uh, lead the Fed to being changing their stance a little bit and being less aggressive moving forward. So uh, anyways, I hope everybody has a great weekend. I will see you again on Monday and uh, have a good day.